we want to thank you. We want to congratulate you that you're here with us, that you make the decision to connect today with us, to give us the opportunity to bring increase uh, into your life, into your business, into your project, uh, whatever is in your heart. I guarantee you this masterclass definitely has the potential to uh, give you a different perception, different point of view. And by the end of this masterclass, our goal is to really uh, give you that inspiration, help you improve your self-confidence, your self-esteem, because um, I don't know for you guys, but for me, this is one of the most important things a person could ever learn in life because it touches uh, such a powerful topic when it comes to success. And our first masterclass, we decided to give you a little bit about, you know, uh, insights about decision-making and how important it is to, and how easy it is to make decisions in life. And I think it goes so aligned with this topic today because I believe as soon as you elevate your self-confidence, your decision-making muscle gets stronger. So it becomes easier for you to really make important decisions in life. So let's begin. Let's begin the journey. And... Um, I want to begin asking you guys, um, what is self-confidence and, and how this topic really benefits or maybe keeps people uh, literally stuck where they are when it comes to success, when it comes to really start getting the results that people want in life. I just love the simple way that Bob used to talk about self-confidence, that it's something that it's transferable. You know, that we all have confidence in something and we start getting confidence before we even know what it is. And I love the example of tying your shoes. You know, we're all confident in something. And so there was a time when none of us knew how to tie our shoes. And now we all know how to tie our shoes and we're confident that we can do it every single time. And yet in the beginning, it was like, you know, this goes there and we're trying and no, it made us so frustrated and we'd try again. But once we have confidence in anything, we can transfer it to anything else. And I, I love that confidence is transferable, that you know, we're all confident we can brush our teeth. We're all confident. And if we make a list of all the things we're already confident in, then we go, oh, like I'm a confident person. And then self-confidence isn't this like this mysterious, aloof thing that is unattainable that some people have it and some people don't. We all have it and we all have equal access to it. And so to, for me, that just really helped me understand that Self-confidence is so attainable. And in fact, I already have it and you already have it. And now we can build it out in other ways. Oh, if I'm confident here, then I can also be confident here because at my core, I am a confident person. And to me, that simplified it so much. So um, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Carol Howden was really... Uh, such an important part in my self-awareness of how I am seen by this loving universe, how Carol saw me. Carol is an amazing leader, and many of you that know Carol know this by her results. And one of the lessons, it was a loving lesson that I had, was actually at our, um, our farm in Idaho, our Highlands Flats farm. Now, this, this was, gosh, Carol, 2015, 2015. So I was just touching lightly this personal development of stepping more into, you know, who I was here to be. And what was interesting, and all of you watching this will relate to this, how many times in your life do you have someone speak something over you, seeing your perfection that's within you, seeing something beautiful about you, inside, outside, 
And when you do receive those compliments, that, that love from another person admiring something about you, are you in a place in your self-confidence to accept it? Or do you reject it? Oh, no, not me. Oh, no, I'm this. Oh, no. And we tell this lie to ourselves. That's just a part of our personality. It's the fearful parts that inside. It's this part that we show to the world that isn't our truth. Our truth is we know who we are. We know the love we are deep within. And I had this experience and it was really um, a very profound. It was actually um, an emotional impact for me. It was a paradigm shift. Well, I remember getting up in the morning and I was just messy bun um, sporting, you know, no makeup, got up and Cindy Miracle sees me in the bathroom. And she says these words to me, you look beautiful in the morning. And I was looking at myself, how I saw myself. And I said, oh, stop. And I started to make all these excuses. And I started to shut myself down and tell myself the things and said it out loud. And she paused. She loved me enough to say this to me. Thank you, Cindy. Annette, let's do that again. And this time, let's have you accept the compliments because, sweetheart, you're a loving mirror. And when you reject, when I rejected her comments as a loving mirror, there's a law called the law of reflection. We're always reflecting. So when someone makes a compliment to us, they're actually seeing themselves through us. So if we reject this, we don't understand we're actually rejecting them seeing themselves in that light you guys for me this was a paradigm shift she goes let's pause and let's do that again oh i'll never forget it and she repeated it and this time i allowed it to go in and i stood there it wasn't easy i'm not gonna tell you it was and i allowed it in and as i did i began to feel deep within me the love she was sending that in and as I accepted it and stood there and took it in, then I also what? I actually visualized this mirror and I love to share this with my clients. You visualize reflecting that light right back over, just pouring over that person. And I watched her illuminate in that. So I realized in that moment, no matter what's coming in, I'm given the choice to accept or reject it. So in my self-image, which is re the reflection of everything in my life. I think self-confidence is not something just necessary to achieve goals. Um, it's something to be happy. Um, at the end, everyone, everybody <laughs> are looking that. We have the responsibility to build our self-confidence, not put an other or outside that the validation or the recognition that we are valuable. I remember that something Bob said all the time is the only way you can trust in, your, in yourself is knowing yourself. You know, in, in, in our life, nobody told us that. All the time, they're teaching us skills. They're teaching us, I don't know, information. But uh, for me now, I discovered that it's very important. It's, it's a key to know about myself, who I am, uh, what, what, what I want, um, um, be free and be encouraged to, to answer that question from the heart. And of course, with that, has, uh, as Carol, Andres, and, and Annette said, everything is possible. And for those that really want to go further and really are committed and serious, we have developed such a magnificent opportunity for you to be part of our, our platform, Essential Mindset, where we go really deep into these subjects, uh, not just self-confidence when it comes to goal setting, when it comes to gratitude, when it comes to you know, how to use the oils. I mean, Carol is just a magnificent you know, um, mentor when it comes to oils and mindset and Annette and Gigi, you know, uh, and myself, you know, we really have the passion because it's our purpose. We, we live our purpose. That's how we live every day, you know, which is a beautiful way to live, by the way. It's amazing. And, uh, and we want to share that with you. You know, we really want to um, give us, you know, the opportunity to bring increase into your life. And we have, uh, you know, you can explore our 
platform or programs, you know, what we have in there, we have, and it's such a beautiful way to really, um, you know, have a digital mindset mentor, 